All right, dear children, uh, we will go to the next topic now, important topic, that is angle of contact. Okay, so in the last YouTube video, we, you learned in details about the formation of convex and concave meniscus by the liquid which we take, uh, had taken, that is called, one is mercury, another is water. Okay, now even this mercury and water, okay, can form certain angle. When this liquid, like mercury and water, is placed in a capillary tube. So, I am using the word capillarity, capillary, and this topic you learn after the, uh, after this topic called angle of contact. But what is actually angle of contact? So, let's try to understand. Now, when the free surface of the liquid, the free surface means this surface, this is the free surface of the liquid. When the free surface of the liquid in, comes in contact with the solid, comes in contact with the word solid, and you know what happened? What will form? The curved surface is formed at the point of contact. And this curved surface which is formed is due to the what? Two forces which comes into play. One is called cohesive force and one is called adhesive force. Okay. Now, there is certain angle. There is certain angle which is formed inside the liquid between the tangent to the solid surface and the tangent to the liquid surface at the point of contact. And this angle is basically called as angle of contact for the pair of solid and liquid for the pair of solid and what liquid so to understand what is angle of contact okay so let me show with the help of diagram so let me take a beaker okay, let me just first take a beaker suppose you have a beaker out there okay now what i do in this beaker i'll fill a water i fill what water okay so means consider there is already a water which is filled in a beaker now what i'm going to do let me just put some glass plate at the middle of the beaker containing what water now this is a glass plate and this is also a beaker made of what glass okay also made of what glass now what I do I fill I have already filled up this beaker with water containing glass okay, with water means the meniscus which is formed out there Definitely what meniscus? Concave meniscus. So I am showing with the help of diagram. So at the point of contact and this point of contact between the beaker which is made of glass and the glass plate which is immersed. Okay. There is a meniscus which is formed as I said. And this meniscus called what meniscus? Concave meniscus. And due to the formation of concave meniscus, we can always measure the angle which is actually the angle between the tangent to the solid surface. So this is the glass surface with the solid surface. So over this solid surface, I draw a tangent. Tangent means the line which is drawn parallel to this plate. Okay. This is the tangent drawn to the solid surface. And even I draw a tangent drawn to the what? Liquid surface at the point of contact. Now this is the liquid surface which is in contact with the solid. So over this also I draw a tangent. So this is one tangent drawn to the liquid which is contact with the solid surface and this is the tangent which is drawn at the solid surface okay so there is a two there are two tangent which is drawn okay so that there is an angle which is formed between the two tangent which is drawn okay and this angle is actually called as angle of contact and we mark by later what theta so what is fill out here water so water has fill out here and this water has filled in a what? Glass beaker. But this is the point of contact. This is also the point of contact. This is also the point of contact. Even you can see this is a point of contact. But this point of contact, which has formed a curved surface due to the two forces, as I said already, that is called cohesive and adhesive forces. But at the point of contact, okay, where of the liquid surface with the glass, okay, we can draw a tangent, as I said. That tangent is the tangent to the solid surface. This, see, this is a tangent to the solid surface okay and the tangent to the liquid surface this is the liquid surface which is contact with the solid surface so this is the liquid shape shape of liquid surface which is contact with the solid surface so if I draw a tangent means this is a tangent because of the concave meniscus this is a tangent that is drawn and these two tangent form certain angle between them and this angle is only called as angle of contact this is called angle of what? contact so children, we can even measure the angle between the tangent between the tangent drawn between the solid surface and the tangent drawn, okay, tangent drawn to the what liquid surface at the point of contact with the solid surface is called angle of contact. 
But this angle of contact is not same for all the liquid in contact with the solids. Now, children, if you look at this diagram, what type of meniscus has formed by the water? You have learned already this is concave meniscus. So if a liquid which forms concave meniscus, you know that liquid weight the glass. Water always weight the glass. And the liquid which weight the glass always form what meniscus? Concave meniscus. And when the liquid which weight the glass, which form concave meniscus, then this angle, that is called angle of contact, is because basically a what angle? Acute angle. You know acute angle means angle more than 0 degree but less than 90 degree. Okay. So, children, the liquid which con uh, with the glass or uh, which form concave meniscus, okay, with the glass, always have angle contact, what? Acute. The angle which will be, angle of contact will be how much degree? An acute angle. It will be a what angle? Acute angle. It can be any angle, okay, but uh, less than what? 90 degree but more than 0 degree. Now, this is the case of angle of contact formed by the water in contact with the glass. Now, let me take another liquid, as you know, that is called mercury. Now, in order to measure the angle of contact and to measure angle of contact when liquid is spilled, liquid like mercury is spilled in a glass beaker and that we can do with the help of diagram. So, look at this diagram. So, I have taken again the same glass beaker, okay, containing mercury and over that uh, glass beaker, I will fill glass plate. As soon as you fill the glass plate, what you can see, the mercury which is in uh, contact with the glass beaker and the glass plate form a what meniscus? Convex meniscus. This is convex meniscus. And you know this formation of convex meniscus also due to what? The two forces comes into play. One is called adhesive force, one is called co cohesive force. Okay. Now, but in this convex meniscus formed by the mercury in contact with the glass plate, we can even measure the angle and that angle is called angle of contact. So as for the definition, I follow the similar manner. The angle of contact is the angle between the tangent to the solid surface. So this is the solid surface, tangent to the solid surface, surface in this one. This line which I have drawn is the tangent to the solid surface. And the angle and the tangent to the liquid surface at the point of contact. This is the liquid surface which is contact with the solid surface. Even in that I draw a tangent. And this is the tangent drawn at the liquid surface which is contact with the solid. So there are two tangents which I have drawn. One is the tangent drawn to the solid surface. Another is the tangent drawn to the liquid surface at the point of contact. But these two tangents form certain angle between them. And this angle is called angle of contact. So this angle, as I already marked by later, theta. And theta is the angle of contact. But you know, mercury is that liquid which does not weigh the glass. Means those liquid which does not weigh the glass has angle of contact. Ac obtuse angles, not sorry, acute, sorry, obtuse angle. You know, obtuse angle means the angle which is more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree. Okay, so this mercury form angle of contact which is obtuse, which is more than 90 degree. So, children, if you look at this diagram only, this is the mercury which is contact with the glass has formed acute, uh, sorry, angle of contact theta. And this angle is basically how much degree? Approximately 135 degree. So 135 degree is the angle of contact between the mercury and the glass in contact with each other. Similarly, if I take this water, and this is the ordinary water. So if I take ordinary water, ordinary water means the water containing some impurities. Okay, ordinary water, not a pure water. Then this angle of contact, theta, between the water and the glass is basically less than how much degree? 90 degree. And this angle is approximately how much degree? 8 degree which is up to uh, acute angle which is less than, uh, less than 90 degree and that is approximately how much 8 degree but in case you, if you take what water pure water if you take pure water then this angle of contact will be zero zero degree but what type of water you have to take pure water and clean glass plate if you take water as a pure water and clean, clean glass plate then angle of contact will be zero degree so zero degree is the angle of contact for pure water and clean glass plate so children, angle of contact can be measured for any pair of liquid and solid. But this angle of contact is not same for all the pair of liquid and solid. That's why there are certain factors that you need to keep in mind in which the angle of contact depends. So le children, let's, let's try to understand uh, and know what are the factors that affect the what? Angle of contact. So there are basically uh, three factors that affect the what? Angle of contact. 
So number one factor let me explain and that is the nature. The nature of the liquid. Yes, the nature of the liquid. So one of the important factors in which the angle of contact depends is the nature of liquid. Means angle of contact is not same for all the liquid. Like we did with water and mercury, angle of contact water and mercury are not same. Even even for water also, if the water is not pure water and there are some other water, impurities present in the water, then angle of contact also changes. That's why the nature of liquid is one of the first important factor that makes major uh, that changes the word angle of contact. So this is number one. Number two factor is also there. The number two factor is angle of contact also depends upon the solid. Okay, with which the solid with which it is in contact is in contact with what liquid. So if I take a liquid, given liquid, but if that liquid is placed contact with different type of solid, the angle of contact also changes. That means angle of contact also depends upon the types of solid with which in that it is in place in contact with the what liquid like angle of contact between the glass and the what glass and the glass and the water is not same as the angle of contact between uh, say like iron and the water because glass is one of the solid okay iron is also metal which is a solid but angle contact formed by uh, glass angle of contact formed between glass and water and angle of contact formed between glass uh, so iron and water will not be what same because the solid which we are immersed in the liquid are not same. That's why the angle of contact also different. Okay, so this is number three. Now we have number four, number two factor. Sorry. Now this is number three. Now number three is purity of solid. Yes, purity of solid and even liquid. Purity of solid, even and what liquid? Yes, purity of solid means how clean the solid is. And liquid means how pure the liquid is. So the purity of solid and liquid also changes the angle of contact. Because I had already given one example. The angle of contact between ordinary water and the glass. Okay. Is normally 88 degrees. Sorry. Okay. But if I take a water, a pure water and a clean glass. Then the angle of contact will be not how much degree? 8 degree. It will be 0 degree also. Because... The purity of solid and liquid changes the what angle of contact. So, children, how many factors that you learn for which the angle of contact depends means three factors. Okay, so this is in detail explanation of the angle of contact and the factors affecting the angle of contact. Now, in the next YouTube video, uh, we learn about capillarities. Okay, and that you will do in the next YouTube video. Thank you so much.